Brad, your second to last punt in a game of field position, it was as good as it gets, 69 yards. Take me through that play. Yeah, it was huge. Um, you know, field position, we were battling it out. Both defenses were playing really well. So I just, I didn't want to give their offense a short field to go and make a play on. So I knew it was going to be big. And, um, you know, I, I just hit it perfect. And it started to sail and went into the other end zone. So I was happy with it. First time this football team has played here probably in your lifetime. What was the wind like? And it was swirling throughout early on. But how did it affect you throughout this game? Yeah, early on it was difficult. You know, it was changing every couple of minutes. Um, once we came back out after halftime, it had sort of died down, and there wasn't a whole lot of wind in, in the uh, in the last two quarters. But early on, it was definitely a factor for you know all special teams. What does it say about this football team after the Alabama game? The fact that you guys have been in dog fights, you've beat Mississippi State, Ole Miss, and now to come out here and beat a stingy Arkansas team who has virtually had nothing to play for. Right. I mean, it's tough in the SEC. You know, you, you get everybody's best shot every single week. You know, we, we get everybody's shot week in, week out. And we know that. Um, Arkansas played great today. Ole Miss played great last week. So we, we've we've come together really well after that Alabama game. And we, like you said, we've been in dogfights week in, week out. And we never give up, you know. Um, so that, that's that's a big testament to Coach Miles and, and the things he preaches and teaches us. So, you know, we, we keep fighting and we're not going to quit. Brad, thanks so much. Thank you. One of the best punters in the SEC showed why in crunch time. Let's go back to the Louisiana Cat Studios.